Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on another video. I thought I would just film for you guys a little life update because I realise I've been putting up videos every Monday and every Thursday. Can we all just take a moment that they've actually been going up every Monday, every Thursday at 8pm sharp? I'm sorry, but I am freaking proud of myself. <laughs> so this update, I guess, would be that, as you can see, well, as I hope you can see, I've decided to take what we've got going on a bit more seriously. I really appreciate the fact that you guys watch my videos. So I've been doing two videos a week and getting really intentional about my Instagram posts. I've been learning photography and I've been writing more recipes for you guys, posting workouts. So I do like a picture because people just like pictures. That's what Instagram's about. A recipe and a workout and that's kind of my Instagram feed so that's a little bit of an update for you do you guys like that or do you prefer when I just put, like literally did anything but another thing to update you on is that I got the job I got my favorite job for next year and um, so the way it works in terms of doing foundation training in Wales is that you apply for your first year straight from uni then you reapply for second year the idea being that you'll better know what you want to do gives people more of a chance to shuffle around and um, so for first year I've done general surgery slash colorectal surgery, trauma and orthopedics and geriatric medicine slash elderly care slash general medicine. Um, for my second year I got the job that I wanted, praise God, because I did my application literally the night before. I remember staying up till 4am like why have I done this? What was I thinking? This is a huge deal. Oh my goodness I was so stressed. Why am I like that? Why did I do that? Thank you Lord for having mercy on me. I honestly did it the night before at 4am, there was no reason, we, like, it was no surprise and I was on call that week as well, so then I had an on call on like three hours sleep and it, oh my goodness it was horrible. Anyway, I got the job that I wanted which is general practice, paediatrics and um, respiratory medicine, general medicine, which is just incredible and I'm just so grateful to God, thank you God for giving me such favour, so so grateful, so yeah, I got the job for next year. I'm still training to be a personal trainer, that has been a bit slow, um, but getting there one module at a time <laughs> and learning a lot, I actually like that I'm taking it slow because I know that a lot of people kind of just like buy the qualification, but I think I'm really learning a lot more about like training other people and the body and I mean obviously as a doctor you hope I already know quite a bit about the body but just applying that um yeah it's, it's, it's going well. One life update which I guess you wouldn't really call a life update but it's been huge for me recently I think it's from working on elderly care for so long treating so many elderly patients I've been getting really like pensive about my life and about what I'm doing with my life um which just sounds ridiculous it's like Sarah you know what you're doing with your life you are being a doctor doing a YouTube channel and waiting for your parents to arrange your marriage <laughs> getting really pensive and having like what I would kind of call a quarter life crisis um <laughs> not in terms of like having a breakdown but just in the sense of you know when you're younger everyone's like be whatever you want to be what do you want to do and then when you're older everyone's like be realistic settle down <laughs> um so I've just been thinking a lot more seeing so many people who are nearing the end of their life as having a lot of elderly patients on my job at the moment um, just makes you think like wow like life is kind of short and you really do have to think about what you're doing and I realized that I'm obviously I'm a Christian I believe in Jesus but I think there are many ways that we can live out our Christian faith and um, and so what I decided to do was to learn how to life <laughs> which sounds ridiculous I did like a pillow talk series I guess this is kind of pillow talk too um series story on my Instagram and shared this with you guys and thank you to those who actually made it to the end of that I loved your messages and stuff about that basically I've decided to study the lives of three different people who I want my life to be like who I consider as being successful people and I'm writing like a blog series on that and it's going to be really deep and kind of intimate because a lot of the stuff I share is like stuff I don't even know about myself but through studying these people and what they advise and what they've learned in their life I'm realizing a lot of stuff about mine. Now, I know that all sounds really cryptic but basically I'm doing a lot of reflection at this point 
I don't want to just accidentally live my life the way everyone else does. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I think that God makes us all with different passions and hobbies and really unique. And it's really easy to just kind of slide along and live your life how other people expect you to. From what I've seen and what I've observed, I don't think that's always best. I don't want to like become old and have regrets of, I really wanted to do this, but I didn't because I was too afraid. Or, oh, I should have done this, I should have done that. I'd rather try stuff and fail at it and whatnot. At this stage in my life, while I am single, no kids, just bachelorette living my life. <laughs> I wouldn't quite call myself a bachelorette. Uh, um, but yeah, just in a really good stage to just learn how to be like a better person and how to live life better. So I think a lot of the time we can rush on to the next stage. We're like, we're in school and we're like, oh my gosh, I just want to be in college. Then we're in college, we're like, oh my gosh, I just want to get to uni. Then we're at uni, we're like, oh my gosh, I just want to get a job. Then we get a job and we're like, oh, I just want to get married. Then we get married and we're like, I just want kids. Then we get kids and we're like, oh, do you know what? I kind of want to be back in school. Or, you know, we, we, we're always envying the next stage and I've just chosen to not do that and to appreciate, oh my God, thank you, Lord, for all the free time I have right now to just learn. Instead of chasing after starting a relationship, what I've decided to do is make sure that I'm the best person I can be so that when I do start a relationship, it's gonna be awesome because I'll be really self-aware and I'll just be nicer and a better person and know more what I'm doing in my life and have more to contribute. And um, So yeah, I'm reading a lot. And when I say reading, I mean listening to books on Audible. If you have any books that you think might be applicable or helpful to me, whatever they are, leave them in the comments and I will have a flick through. I'm not a massive reader, so preferably books that are on Audible. <laughs> I genuinely, when I say I've been reading a lot, I mean I've been playing them on Audible. And no, this is not sponsored. I just, I'd rather cook and listen than sit there and read because I don't know what changed about me since childhood, but I find it really hard to like sit there with a book. Um, so yeah, I'm basically taking this time to learn how to life, considering a lot of options that I have right now. In fact, right now I'm in the process of making what could be a pretty life-changing, career-changing decision. It's pretty big. I'll let you know how that goes when it's, yeah, when, it, when I've decided how it goes, basically. So please pray for me about that. God would lead me and guide me to make the right decisions right now and not to just do crazy things for the sake of doing crazy things, but actually, yeah, to live with like a purpose. Please pray for me, guys. Oh my goodness. How many of you guys are actually Christians? I could have like the best prayer network ever on this channel. <laughs> that would be incredible. So yeah, that's my life update, I guess. Got the job, I'm taking what we have on the internet here so much more seriously and really trying to make my content amazing for you guys. Um, I have been going through a little bit of a quarter life crisis and figuring out life, but I think actually I'm learning so much and I'm really excited to share that stuff with you guys. I'll be sharing it mostly on my blog because I think some things are easier written than said, like I get kind of awkward sometimes, so I'd rather just type these things and be like a little keyboard warrior. All the weird life thoughts that go on in my head rather than speaking them to a camera so it's a bit less awkward but um, definitely keep an eye on my blog and my Instagram because I'll post when I start my how to life series basically a series that's going to be based on this quarter life crisis of like what am I doing with my life yeah I'm just going on now that's it thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up click like comment and subscribe I will see you guys in my next video thanks for being awesome I love you guys very much mm. I really wanted to do that thing when someone covers up the camera. You know when to end their videos, people like put their hand on the camera. <sighs> but it's a lot of effort. So I think I will just uh, end it like this. <laughs>